hello students today we are going to see tybacs subject game programming for practical 1 so as per the mumbai university syllabus this is the game program practical slip like syllabus where practical number 1 is set up direct x11 windows framework and initialize 3d device loading models into X11 and rendering. So first, I am going to download Direct X. So here is the link I have kept ready in my browser. This is the link. Okay, I will provide in my description. So you have to go and download this. Till then. you go open your visual studio uh, i will show from scratch okay this is a microsoft visual studio 2022 i think it's getting opened here now i will go to create a new project and uh, here all the filters should be for all languages we should select c sharp then all platforms for uh, windows then all project types goes to desktop okay then second one is second one option is windows form app dot net framework so we should select this and go to next then we will uh, give our project name like uh, game 3d then make sure your framework should be in 2.0 okay then we go to create here my uh, interface has open for game 3d okay let me check my direct dxs download or not okay so here it is downloaded let's open that file right click open and run said yes go next I accept the terms. Next, no. Then next. Then see this. This will be shown in Microsoft DX. Go next. Then next. we have to wait to get this installed completely it's going on going on going on that Almost. Mm -hmm. 
getting completed. And finish. Okay. Now we have to check whether our direct DX has downloaded. So we have to go this PC C drive, then Windows, then Microsoft .NET, then see here DirectX for manage code is visible. So it has downloaded. Okay. Yes. Then next, we have already opened our uh, Visual Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 with uh, new like C sharp Windows and desktop and uh, Windows form app dotnet framework next then we have created game 3d okay so now in, in the solution explorer game 3d here we have should right click go to properties and in the build we have to select this any cpu that is platform target we have to select and uh, switch to x86 after switching to x86 here you can see star mark means here we have done any changes so complete the changes control s okay then close it then again go to the game i will show you here go to the right click here add references okay after references here this is a browser option here already my 3dx dot dll 3dx sorry directx dot dll directx dot directx dot 3d dll is visible i will show you one more how to go there browse okay we have to select 3d direct 3, direct 3d dot dll direct 3d x dot dll then direct x dot dll by con pressing control to select multiple options then add okay i have already added and give the checkbox okay 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 hmm? then here also okay fine then we have to go to this okay here you have to right click view code so now here you have to st start writing our code using Microsoft dot direct x semicolon then using Microsoft dot direct x dot direct 3d semicolon okay then in the public partial class form 1 you have to put the cursor here and enter and type Microsoft dot direct x dot direct 3d dot device device uh, dot sorry not device okay then in public form constructor we have to go and uh, type a new initial uh, init device Semicolon. it will show error for now because we have not created any member function so go enter public void init device present okay you have to write type here present present parameters tab then space bp is equal to new already it's showing me so tab tab okay then next pp dot windowed is equal to true already it is showing pp dot swap effect is equal to swap effect dot discard then device is equal to new device Go zero comma device type hardware comma this create flags dot hardware processing comma pp 
okay this much line you have to write here then we have to again create an member function called uh, void render device dot clear clear flags dot target comma color con color blue or orange you if, if you want whatever you want comma zero comma one okay then semicolon yes then next enter device dot present this much you have written then next uh, we have to enter and go there now and now we have to go again in this design form in here right click properties okay properties in this you can see this uh, event symbol you can click there okay then go to the upwards in the appearance paint double tap here okay so you will see form paint you have come form paint you have to tap this render function okay okay simple as that now next we have to go to debug windows then x exception settings here scroll down to manage co managed debugging assistant i will give some space okay then you have to go to and uncheck this loader lock okay after unchecking the loader lock again control s okay so almost uh, we are ready let's see our output is coming or not to start So here my output has come. This is called console. That dedicatedly a window is opened to do something. So I have gi given con flower blue color. So it is displaying blue color. So this is our practical number one of game programming output. Okay, simple as that. Thank you.